Hello, Southern Moxie. Happy Friday. I'm gonna wait to see if anybody pops on. We are gonna be talking about fundraising today. Um, your director, Paige, had asked me to come on here and talk to y'all. I've done a few fundraisers. Um, hello, hello. Yes, so, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started because I know it's Friday, who knows what everybody's doing. Um, yeah, so y'all are doing a buddy drive, um, and I'm gonna talk specifically to that, but I also wanted to just do kind of a, um, an overall cover of fundraising um, with our business. It is such a huge opportunity that we get the option to fundraise for people. Um, and there really are very lim little limitations that we have to be careful of. Um, they're little, but they're important. Okay, so you have to make sure you do do certain things, and we'll also talk about that. But the first thing is, anytime you're about to do a fundraising, even when I'm about to do another one, I always go and check out the workstation. There is um, a guide on there, there's information, there's an official fundraising letter, and you can be as official or unofficial with a few side notes that you want to be with this. My first fundraiser I ever did was a buddy drive. It was with the hospital here in New York, in Syracuse. And I tried to be like super official with it. I had my letter, I had signed it. I was, you know, talking to people and she's like, oh, just send me an email. <laughs> I was like, okay. So I told her who I was and what I wanted to do, which was a buddy drive for the Children's Hospital. It's upstate Golisano in Syracuse. And she was like, yes, absolutely. I love that idea. Um, but to take it back, the workstation has tons of information on what you can, things that you can say, things that you can use. But again, you can be as official or unofficial that you want. Um, the main thing or one of the main things with the fundraiser is that you have a plan. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do with a fundraiser is to find who you want to fundraise with. So y'all are doing a buddy drive. You know that it's going to be either a hospital, a children's hospital. Um, it's going to be a child's a children's home, um, a foster care, whatever that may look like. But you have to find someone to do it. And then you need to have a fundraising coordinator or a fundraising contact with that organization. So you have to figure out who's in charge of fundraising. You need to talk to someone who owns the company or um, most hospitals will have a fundraising contact. Um, usually with like a children's home, it's usually just whoever runs the home. Um, and you need to get permission specifically in writing from them saying that you can use your business to fundraise for them, whatever that may look like, okay? Yes, yeah, so you have, you're picking your own organization, that's great, but you have to have that organization okay that you're raising this for them, okay? Because then people would be, you could use anybody, right, as an excuse to fundraise, but you have to have permission to pretty much use their name, okay? Huge, huge deal. Get it in writing because if you ever have, um, if anything ever happens, any questions come up, all you will have to do is say, here, here's our conversation. And that can be as simple as an email, but it does need to be in writing. Um, so every year I've done the buddy drive for the hospital here. This will be my third year. Every year I have documentation of her saying the fundra fundraising um, contact Yes, we would love for you to do this fundraiser for us, okay? So every year I have to do it. Every single individual fundraiser. Um, and that's who you're going to talk to, right? So then you need to make a, a plan with them. You need to have details. How long is it going to run? When are you going to drop the donations off? Um, how are you going to run it? So there's all kinds of different things you can do. You can do, I'm doing one right now, it's about to end, where it is literally just a link that a lady, she didn't want to do a party, she wanted to do a fundraiser because she needs money for her daughter um, and for their um, hockey team because they travel. So she wanted to do a fundraiser to pay for that. So I pretty much opened her party link and I told her it would be open for two weeks. She could share that link and anybody 
who placed an order on that link, it had to be on that link, I would give 25% of my commission to her from that. And she was very surprised that I was open to that. But the thing with fundraisers is, like I said at the very beginning, this is an opportunity for you to use your business as a vessel to help other people, okay? So when she's like, you sure you wanna donate your your commission just for this? And absolutely, why would I not? Because if I don't have her fundraiser, I'm not gonna have that PRV. I'm not gonna have that the commission from that. So why wouldn't I use my business as a vessel to help someone else, okay? Um, I was very clear with her that with that party, she would not get the rewards. She will just get my commission, okay? So setting all of that out. You can do sit circle fundraisers. You can do, obviously, Buddy. You can do the PW, PWS link, like I just said, where you just have them place the order and everyone has to pay shipping pretty much on the link, but they get 25% of the commission. Now, for the buddy drive, um, specifically the one that I do, um, she gave me a date. So the hospital as a whole, they have like a date where you have to um, send donations for the holiday by a certain date. It's usually like mid-December, just so they have time to go through everything, do a quality check. And they also have, the hospital has um, standards on what you can donate. So for our buddies, it has to be a brand new buddy. It has to be in its original packaging. None of the sip, scent packs can be open. Everything has to be brand new. Um, sometimes I've had people say, oh, well, I have a bunch of extra buddies that my kids never use. Can I donate those? No, not to mine. Most hospitals are not going to take that either. It has to be brand new. It has to be a new product. Um, so they can then gift that to the people that are in, the kids that are in the hospital. Um, so yeah, get all the details of that. Get what they require. Um, get the date that you need to have the buddies to the hospital so that the kids will get them on time. Um, especially with COVID, they may it may be even earlier in the month in December because they want them to sit for seven to ten days before anyone touches them with the you know with things need, needing to be isolated. Um, so keep that in mind too. ASAP start this. Um, so to be compliant with Sensi, you have to have that approval. Um, you cannot do a a drive or a fundraiser of any kind for any national tragedy. So if it's covered by the national news, you cannot raise anything for it. Um, obviously, follow through on our promises. Like I said with that uh, PWS link that I have open, if I said I'm going to guarantee 25%, I need to give 25%. Whatever that may end up looking like, do what you say you're going to do. You have to be able to be trusted to do these fundraisers. The other thing about being compliant, I'm going to read this straight from it, is only collect funds through product purchases. You are not authorized to collect cash donations using the Scentsy name without Scentsy's prior written approval. So what that means, yes, you can take payment to then, to then buy a buddy and put it in your drive. But you cannot say... Um, for instance, oh, if someone comes to you and they're like, oh, well, I just want to donate $50 to the children's hospital. Can I give that to you to then pass on? No, you cannot do that. That $50 has to go towards the price of a buddy for that, for you to be able to take that and then hand it to the hospital or to give it to the hospital. If you have any questions about that, let me know because there was some concerns about that last year. Um, but the main thing is that any funds that you get go towards... Um, a product purchase, right? So like I said, and I'll say it again, if someone wants to just donate money to the organization that you're raising funds for, they need to go directly to them and keep you out of it pretty much. They cannot say, oh, I want to give you $50 for you to then give to the hospital as a donation under your name and under your business. No, that's not allowed. You have to, anything that you are Pretty much anything that you receive as a donation has to go through a product purchase for that for that um, for that uh, organization. Sorry. Um, now, if you wanted to raise funds like that, then you would have to get Cincy's approval to be able to um, to do that, and that's a whole nother ball game. 
Um, like, and I have on here, promotion and packaging um, is super important. I That's something that I tell um, or that I talk to the fundraising coordinator specifically about my body drive, um, how she wants them delivered. They cannot be wrapped with this hospital. They have to come in original packaging unwrapped. So all she wants them in is a box. So I have big Scentsy boxes full of buddies that I then take. And I also um, keep the scent packs separately. So then if they give the kid the option, they can pick their own scent to go with their buddy. Okay. But again, all of that has to be in original pack packaging. Can you stop, please? Sorry, my son's in here. Um, so how I do my, um, my, we'll talk specifically about the buddy drive. Um, I've told you how I get prior approval. Um, I tell my customer. So that's my main pri point, right? That's my main contact is that they know that I use Scentsy out. Thank you. Out. They know that I use my business to help someone out. So they, my customers are usually the ones that donate. I use rewards throughout the year to get buddies too um, on like personal shopping links for myself that I have like a, a catch-all link. So maybe next year if you're good, wanting to do something like this, that's something to good to start now. Um, because... Then you can use, you don't, you only need so much sensei, guys. Start using those half price rewards and those free rewards towards buddies to then um, donate to them, okay? Um, so I tell my customers, this year I gave them a flat rate of um, a price that includes the tax and the sensei buddy. That's what they send me, and then I purchase the buddy through parties on the workstation. So they have a flat rate of what they give me instead of saying like 30 plus tax because I place those orders for them. Um, so they know the price points for that. They know what buddies, um, anybody can come to, to me for the, for the drive. So I also accept friends because they also put a sit pack in there, but I'm very specific that I don't do buddy clips. Um, I don't do, any, anything else other than specifically a buddy because that's what I tell them they're going to get. Um, I collect them all and then we drive down there and drop them off. I document everything through the process, okay? So, my, like I said, my customers know I do this every year now and they like to see where you at. How many do you have left? Last year, I made a graphic with the buddies. They have to be unlicensed if you're going to do something like this. Um where I lined up 30 buddies and then I cross one off every time. And I would give my, my VIP group a weekly update with where we were at because I wanted to donate 30. Um, and I, and it towards the end where it was like, are we going to get it? Or are we not? I had a, a bunch of people pull through and they're like, Oh yeah, we got to get this 30 this year. It's 50. Okay. So we're increasing it every year. Um, to try and make a difference. That's the biggest thing. This isn't for anything else but to help someone else, right? But it does help you too. So think about that. We are in an incentive. So any PRV that you get is a point towards that incentive. If you need to be incentivized, the incentive is there, okay? So you're going to get PRV for that, even if you're not necessarily going to get commission off that if you're donating that. Um it still goes towards the success of your business. Um, it's a great way to get your name out there. Um, this lady at the hospital knows that I'm the Scentsy girl. Um, and then for the link that I just did, that she just opened me up to a whole new group of people, just like a party would for customers that I get to now send a thank you, follow up, and start building a relationship. So it still does benefit me in the end, um, just not monetary, right? So yeah. Get your ducks in a row before you contact them. Figure out what you want to do. Um, even letting them know, like, I want to I wanna make a difference, and this is what I would like to do. Um, when I first wrote the lady about the buddy drive at the hospital, I wasn't sure if she even knew what Scentsy was or what a buddy was. So in my email to her, I did send pictures. I explained what came with it, how the scent pack works. Um... And I was very specific in telling them that buddies themselves um, 
you know, obviously they're for kids. They're plush. They're comf they can be comforting, just like a, a normal stuffed animal. Um, but the extra perk is that they have a scent in them. So making sure that your your fundraiser also knows your fundraiser contact also knows that what you're doing is for a reason. Okay, um, and that's all I had for you. Hopefully that was helpful. If y'all have any questions about fundraising, you can drop them here. I will get alerted. Um, I'll see if Paige has any because I know she's on here still. Um, but just know that you doing a fundraiser can help someone else so much. I don't get to see the families that get the buddies. I don't get to talk to them. But I know... Just the feeling that it gives me to drop those off. And honestly, for my boys to see me drop them off. They know I do this every year. They they want to help. They're like opening their piggy banks trying to buy buddies, which I don't allow them to do. Um, last year, they got to ride up there with me to drop them off. And it's just a very cool experience to, um, to be able to help somebody else and um, make a difference in their Christmas day, their Christmas morning, their Christmas week, whatever it may be. So, um, I hope y'all have a great weekend. Please keep me updated with this fundraiser. 30 a person is amazing. And just to think if like five of y'all did that, that would be such an impact. Even if all of you did one, it would be an impact. So, um, I'm rooting for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.